I'm out at my uh, 2003 Ford F-150 and uh, I live in an area, I live in near Kansas City, Missouri and for, the while, for a while I was checking my oil and one day it, it's been really cold, uh, cold hot, cold hot and I opened my cap here and can't see it anymore because I cleaned it out real good but I opened my cap and I just had a bunch of freaking milky gunk all over my cap and the first thing I thought at the time was man I probably have a freaking bad head gasket or something because I, I have all that white milky crap inside my cap, oil cap so I, I must have a I must have coolant getting inside mixing with my oil and making that slimy milky stuff but turned out I thought it was just uh, I think it was just because of the cold weather you know cold hot cold hot uh, moisture can build up on the inside of your block from you know uh, you have a hot engine and it sits in the cold it, you know it'll condense make moisture and uh, I uh, I checked my uh, checked my oil cap and you know it was it was I just wiped it off real good and I went and changed my oil and uh, haven't seen it haven't seen it since so I've been keeping an eye on it. plus it's been warmer weather but at the time I mean it was gunked up nasty milky I I wish I took a picture of it like I said my first suspect my I first suspected I was like oh man I got a bad head gasket or something but uh, I don't think that's the case I think it was just condensation from the hot and the cold hot cold but just to make sure I'm gonna do a little quick test. I'm gonna I'm gonna pressure test my coolant system and see if make sure it holds pressure and I don't have any leaks. And then, if that's good, I'm going to uh, my engine. If that gauge starts building pressure, that means combustion gases are leaking past the gasket and building pressure. That's one test you can do. Other thing you can do is use like a block a block check. It's like a fluid. It's a special tool you stick over the radiator cap and you pump a bulb and it sucks fumes up and if the if the fluid changes color you know you have combustion gases getting in your coolant system this is my uh, stant uh, pressure tester and I got an adapter the adapter that works with this coolant system is uh, what's the number here? 12026. 12026 stand. And this adapter will fit here. You screw it on, you can pressure test it. So, anyway, I'm going to get busy, but I was kind of trying to explain why I suspected I had some coolant issues. But it turns out I think it was just the crazy cold weather condensing on my on the underside of my cap plus also when I pull the dipstick and look at the fluid it, it wasn't milky or anything and if coolant was leaking in well that oil would be probably all contaminated and nasty and but all I had it was just a little bit of sludge on my cap so I changed the oil and I've been watching it and I, I haven't seen any white stuff come back yet so I think I'm good but just to be sure I'm gonna I'm gonna do some pressure tests real quick. Show you guys how to do it. Okay. Cat back. So I mean if you ever see like white slimy crud on the top of your oil cap, well it could be because coolant's getting in and you got a bad head gasket. Or it could be just condensation from the hot cold weather. You know, uh, oil itself will absorb mo absorb moisture. And the temperature changes can really make an engine condense and hope that makes sense but uh i mean just because you got white sludgy crap you know doesn't mean you got a really expensive repair just yet it could mean that but you gotta do a few more tests anyway okay so first thing i'm going to take this cap off and don't ever take this cap off if your engine's been running uh, because it is under pressure and it's very hot you want to do this test when your engine's cool and been sitting for a while and you know not under pressure 
you can you can squeeze the radiator hose and if it's if it's really hard that means it's under pressure also barely open it nice and slow just barely crack it slow and if you see like pressure coming out you know it's under pressure but mine's not because it's been sitting so I'm gonna take this cap off I'm gonna screw in my adapter for this vehicle Just, just snug it up. This is plastic, so don't, you know, don't wrench on it. I gotta take my uh, cap here. You gotta, this, this puts it under tension, so you can screw this on, and then you pop it off, and then it sucks it down. So, you just screw it in until it back seats, and it, it touches the tabs, and it won't go anymore. See? Then you just back it off. And that holds it tight. Now it's on there. Now I'll try to zoom in to show you guys. This here is uh this is the pressure gauge right here. I got 5, 10, 15. Uh on this cap here, it says 16 psi right here, so I'm gonna pressurize it to about 16 psi. And then you just pump it up. Okay. Now you can see my needle is right there and it's holding. I'm just going to let this sit here for about two, three minutes and make sure the pressure doesn't bleed off. If the pressure doesn't bleed off and it holds, well, that means I don't have any leaks in my system. Also, if you want, you can shine a light around fittings, look for leaks, or you know, listen for it. But usually, if you got a leak, it'll you'll hear it and you'll see it. But uh, main thing is just watch the needle and make sure it doesn't go down. So I'm just going to let this sit here for a while, a couple minutes. Okay, well, my needle hasn't moved at all, so I'm pretty confident I don't have any leaks in my cooling system. So now, I checked my system from, from the water side, you know, uh, I mean from the coolant side, and I don't have any leaks going this way, but, but really this is only about 16 PSI. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this gauge on. I'm going to release the pressure in my coolant system. Uh, then I'm going to tighten that cap back up. And then I'm going to go start my car. And if I had any significant combustion pressure coming, coming back through my head gasket, this would build pressure really fast. You'd see the pressure start going up. And that would indicate right away that, hey man, I, I got a head gasket that's leaking and combustion gases are getting into my system. So, I'm going to do that real quick just to show you guys. See that pressure? Relieve the pressure. Now it's back tight again. Now I'm going to go, I'm going to go start the vehicle. And I'm just going to, hopefully, I don't know if you guys can still... I'm just going to watch that needle. Like I said, if I come, if I started it and you see it build up really fast, like I said, that would indicate combustion gases are getting back towards into my system and building pressure. I'd watch this for a while and just let it be, but that needle's not not building pressure or anything. But I'll let it, let it run for a while. Uh, I'm going to let it run for about five ten minutes. Well, I'll check to see if it builds any kind of crazy pressure. It's not really building any back pressure, so I think I'm good. And like I said, this is. Well, let me go shut it off, and I'll explain a few more things. Okay, I shut my engine down, and uh, you know this is just one way, one way that you can find a head gasket leak, 
or bad head gasket. There, there's a lot of ways. This is just one. And of course, you know, you can always check compression with the compression gauge. Pull your spark plugs, disable your fuel, disable your ignition, and check compression. Typically, if you have a bad head gasket, you'll have two, two, uh, two cylinders side by side with a bad gasket, and it won't have you have good compression. That's one way to check for bad head gasket. Uh, there's another method where, like I was talking about, the block leak fluid. You can hold it over here and pump it in, and combustion gases will tell you. If you have a gas analyzer or whatever, you can use that. Well, I was just doing this test because, like I said, I had uh, a really milky oil cap, and I was concerned that, man, I hope I don't have coolant leaking in my system, but from, from the test I did, my system seems to be pretty, pretty much intact, so uh, I think I'm good.